Well, late Friday, we learned that Washington will now send $55 million of tax money to help launch the long sought after decking of the Route 33. That's the Kensington Expressway. Advocates point out it will help reconnect Buffalo neighborhoods ripped apart by the 1950s construction of the roadway. Channel 2's Ron Plans has the perspective of a UB engineering professor with really a first-hand look at these type of projects, Ron. That, that's right, Claudine. You may have heard of something called the Big Dig Project up in Boston back, it uh, was finally completed in 2007. Obviously a much, much larger, more complex project for the Central Artery or Interstate 93 in downtown Boston, but UB Engineering Associate Professor Anthony Tassari worked on the Big Dig as a land surveyor, so he has some thoughts on the Kensington plan. Now, with that $55 million from the feds, Governor Hochul also committing $1 billion in state taxpayer money for this project to build a 4,600-foot tunnel from Dodge to Sydney Streets for the existing 33 and then deck over it with a planned park and some cross streets with the idea of linking neighborhoods cut off by the highway. Now, Professor Tassari emphasizes it's not as easy as the politicians make it sound with required specialized engineering, construction work, and planning to allow for proper ventilation with car exhaust, emergency access, and egress, and other factors for the tunnel structure. We kind of already have this trench in the ground. It's not quite deep enough in many sections, so you almost have to go in there, cut down a little bit more, and then you're going to cover back up and make this structure. But you already, you already said it, right? There's a little bit more uniqueness there that you have to be able to support something on top of it. Um, and, and so that adds to the you know, engineering design of this system. Now again, this has been done successfully in Boston, Seattle, Portland, and Dallas, along with some major European cities. But there can be potential major cost overruns and unexpected issues sometimes with excavation, especially in an already crowded urban area. Also, there will be traffic detours, delays, noise for the adjacent neighborhoods. Now, the state DOT reporting this could be a five to ten year project with ongoing environmental review and design work. We're going to have much more coming up at 11. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.